Uh, welcome. I'm the Moonshin King. BTS! The seven members of Bang Tang. This was requested by... Majestic is me! Because, um... Wait. Listen, man! I've seen a lot of BTS reactions. And I mean a lot. Everyone available on YouTube. And this is by far the weirdest one I've ever seen. And I mean that in the best way possible. I subscribed for sure. And so should you if you are a fan of BTS. Or other uh, Korean music. Because I am going to go on a great journey with me. And I hope you join you for sure. But he's already... I'm completely new. I only heard that two songs now by BTS, the ones I've reacted to. Go and check them out for you. So I don't know anything about uh, each member. And there's a lot of members by most standards. It's a bit length. Uh, uh, if you could, can you react to who is BTS, the seven members of Bang Tang? It's a bit lengthy, but it gives about a two minute introduction to each member. Now I have trouble uh remembering when there's four or five in a group i've been reacting to some groups some bands for months now and i still don't remember all their names but here we are he's already given us some information extraordinary scenes kim namjoon rm what is rm leader rapper producer kim oh great there's three kims this is not going to make it easier. Kim Seo Jin Jin Visual Vocalist. And uh, are these uh, names? Are these nicknames in the brackets? Min Yungi Suga Lead Rapper Producer. How? Oh, oh, another producer. Jung Ho Zeok, J Hope. Ah, not J Ho, J Hope. Dance leader, rapper. I want to be a dance leader. That should be my job for sure. Park Jimin, Jimin. Dancer, vocal focus. Why is his name the same? Jimin, Jimin. But that guy was called Yungi, and then he gets sugar. And that guy was Seo Kajin, and he just gets the Jin. That one makes sense. What's RM? RM sounds the, the craziest. Kim Tae Young V. V is me! I should be V also. Visual vocalist dancer. Jung Jung Cook. Jung Cook. That makes some sense. But his surname, is that his surname, Jungkook, is pretty similar to Jung and Jung, Jungkook. They just put a G in, but that Jung is also his first name. So, dancer, lead vocalist, they're all super talented. Thank you for reacting to them. And here we go. It's, it's quite a long video, 28 minutes. And I've already been talking for, oh, only four but I'll uh, split it up into three parts. This is the first. About for about roughly 10 minutes of each. Uh, 10 minutes each of the video, so. Oh no! Okay. What is happening? Available in multiple languages. Are we on English? Let's just hope we are. Yes! Let's get into it, shall we? I am looking forward to discovering more about this extraordinary presence in this world. I haven't seen a live performance of that yet, so that will be coming up soon. It's a Korean group of three rappers and four vocalists that debuted in 2013. Oh, is that all? Well, they are very well known worldwide. So I thought, why I might as well get in on this. I might as well discover what others are discovering. They look like they are having fun. Oh. 
Get that. Dead guns is the best thing. Well, it's what drew me to them anyway, because I said I hadn't watched anything, and that's pretty much true. It's just scrolling Twitter, you sometimes see little bits and bats here and there. And I never really stayed around to watch a full clip, but I saw probably a few seconds of dance, and I knew that's what they were doing very well. Off stage, they're known for their huge amount of online content, showing fans their fun but tiring lives. So they're YouTubers, vloggers. When I typed v BTS to choose a uh, a song to react to, I noticed there weren't many songs on the list that came up right away. It was stuff like looked like this, like vlogs, and behind the scenes sort of uh, footage. So that was interesting to me. That's what everyone, sh every performer should do. Why not? Well, wait, I just... Look at this guy! Is that part of a music video? On stage, they're known for their fiery performances, complex choreography, and moving lyrics. Yes, their lyrics must surely know how to move. Look at them go. Let's meet the seven members of BTS. Okay, sort of here. Oh, RM, the leader rapper, born 1994. He is the leader and often seen giving award acceptance speeches for BTS. He is a rapper who was active in the Korean underground hip hop scene until he became the first member of BTS in 2009. Wow, that's uh. Must have been very lonely for him being the first, but he grew a great family for you. It's originally supposed to be a hip hop group, but the CEO later decided K pop idol group. I did hear that they were a hip hop group. I guess it was for commercial viability that they changed. He made a difficult decision of staying. His peers looked down on him for betraying hip hop. An idol fan to look down on him for not fitting Korean beauty standards. Discrimination to me! He raps in Bangtang Boys, but is ugly. If he debuted as an idol. Oh no! Back up, back up. Doesn't that mean he gave up being a rapper? Can you even call this song hip hop? Never! When Bangtan goes upstage and gets makeup done, is that a conflict with hip hop? No, 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 no. It's not a makeup. It's a girl. It's like being a girl. They are being very mean to you. In his 2015 mixtape RM, RM talked about this identity crisis between rapper and idol, and aggressively responds to his critics. I didn't realize there was much debate in uh, Korea about uh, about them wearing makeup. I thought it was just accepted, but apparently not. That is just the uh, surface. That is just what we see from the outside. Inside, it seems there is much controversy when a rapper wants to become an idol. A pop icon of some sort. Mainstream! Very critical of mainstream, uh, those hip-hop artists. I'm not rock, I'm not funk, I'm not R&B or hip hop. I cheat to moan, cheat to more than an adult drum with a paradox. Oh, he is in the therapy. He's known for his extensive use of wordplay and ability to rap to diverse and complex beats. He used to be known as Rap Monster. He has outgrown that name, but he still has a studio called Mon Studio, where he has a hand in producing many BTS tracks. 
He has many collaborations, including with American artists such as Whale, Chris Calico, Warren G, and Fallout Boy. I've only heard of Fallout Boy out of these people because they covered uh, Michael Jackson's Beat It. But I think they're quite famous anyway. But that's uh, the only thing I know them from. The rest of them I don't recognize ever. Alan. Just in case I need one, but you actually are. You speak English, right? Yes. So pretty well. You taught yourself English? Yes, I, I taught myself. Um, actually, my English teacher was a sitcom, Friends. Hang on, you just said you taught yourself. He has an English teacher now. Oh, Friends! I should pay attention. He was watching through Friends, the uh, sitcom American show. Oh, you yes, watch Friends? Very really, uh, popular. I mean, I the only one fluent in English, he translates and helps the others practice for interviews. I can't believe you are going to be after AMA. So now we're here. Do you tell me what's up here? Thank you. Very blood hair. New fans in here. Wow. I chose a Mamuri Mamuri. Thank you for having us. We will show you everything today. So rehearsed! As the leader, he has a lot of responsibilities, including resolving conflict, whether it's between a company and the group or between group members. He makes sure the team stays united and focused for their performance skills. Well, you would think the only one that speaks fluent English would be the leader, in that sense also. Stay united, stay friends, stay companions. RM is also known for his beautiful and thoughtful speeches. Well, he is the talker. He is the talker, for sure. He looks like a like he's in the army with this uh, hat. If your pain is 100, if we can lessen that 99 or 97, if we can within that the value of our existence is enough. What he is saying to you is, is that if you are a very gr grumpy guy, and they can make you just a particle less grumpy, then their existence is worth it, then what they are doing is very right for you. I've heard that, you know, there was like... You could hear all the girlies. RM so often so interacts with fans, business, including like recommending in music with the hashtag RM music, you know, uh, music and chatting in his live stream. Like, like cool! I mean, like, from the done, like, 5 a.m. I, I think I even have better quality, and I have rubbish quality. But <laughs> cool! What are these uh, extraordinary pieces? I don't recognize any of these guys. What is this guy? Wow. Boys don't cry. Oh, that's... Is this an uh, one OK Rock uh, quote? I don't know, because they have a song called Stand Out Fit In, a Japanese rock band. One OK Rock. And that's... It's a, it was Big Boys Don't Cry. So maybe... Or maybe it's a, it's a common phrase anyway, so... I, I cannot imagine that. Are you okay? Like, thank you so much, like, for everything, for the BDMAs, you know, like, Hot 100, like, iTunes, US, you know, UK chart. Thank you. Thank you to me! Jin! Kim Sok Jin. Vocalist. He was a theatre student when he was scouted after being seen getting off a bus. Wow, if only things were so lucky for me. In the fictional storyline that runs throughout music videos, uh, I did not realise there was a storyline. The two music videos I saw was DNA and I don't remember the name of the other one. They looked completely different, no connection. At all, it seemed. But maybe it wasn't between those two videos. Um, but I'd be interested to see the storyline. Tell me, request, uh, which storyline they refer to, which videos. So I can watch them for you. And for me, Jin acts in his role as a pivotal character. 
He is a Superman! For sure. Very dramatic. Good looks have gotten him a lot of viral attention. First in Korea as Car Door Guy at a Korean award show. Mm. That was very plain clothing they were wearing. All black. Not good luck to wear all black, or so I hear. As a third guy from the left after showing up at Billboard Music Awards. 2017. Very slick guys. Worldwide handsome has become a running gag for Jin, who is amused that he's still considered handsome outside of Korea. It must be a terrible feeling. Imagine being considered handsome, even in your class. Can you only dream? Uh, other running gags such as his flying kissy you and his tendency to pull out paper hearts he is a cheesy guy from random places what is this abnormality ah he is the oldest, which is usually a big deal in Korea, because the oldest has the most authority. However, he doesn't use that power much. Ah, uh, if I had the power, can you imagine what we could discover for me? He cares and cooks for the younger ones, and hosts eat eating segments called Eat Jin. Mm. You know, all of them I've noticed have very clear skin. Look, not a blemish, not a mark to be seen. They're not wearing makeup currently in this uh, video, is he? I don't know, maybe he is, but... Very smooth! <laughs> Jin is known for his many dad jokes with bad Korean puns. What? <clears throat> I like that uh, funky... Uh, on the screen. <laughs> he is a joker also! No background in singing, worked hard to prove himself as a vocalist. Mm. Wanted to pursue acting. Big hit entertainment. He is very humble to you! Uh, he is hard worker, however. He doesn't think he's good enough. Perhaps he has imposter syndrome. For the album Wings, he had his own solo song. Oh, wait. That must be a great feeling. He learns the guitar as a hobby. Oh, it looks like he more than just learns it. He performs with it. Very soothing to me! Sugar! August D. Min Young, rapper, producer, born in 1993. How old would that make him? 26. That's quite a, quite a few years different. Mike RM, Sugar, also known as August D, is a rapper producer who received harsh criticism for leaving underground rap. Well, where are these guys now? Still under the ground like rats, I imagine. No offense to you. You can't take me! All your friend rappers should be glad. I'm not pop either. Exactly, be happy for your companions. Be happy for your brother. Be happy for your mother. He looks very young here for no reason. 
Super tongue he has. Intimidatingly savage, blunt, and he will cuss you out if you wake him from his precious sleep. Wow. He is a grumpy guy. I bet that other one gets on his nerves, the Joker. The one we just uh, saw. What was his name? John. Oh, is this one John? No, the other one was... I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. This one's Sugar. But it would be interesting to witness those dynamics. What happens if that leader were to wake him up? Hmm, what would happen then? Ooh. When he passes the water bottle, he doesn't even look at our faces. As it turns out, he's just an introvert who likes to be alone with his music. And he's always sleepy because he chooses to stay up late composing songs. Ah, in the genius lab also! Wait, this is the same room as last time, isn't it? I recognize some of these things from that from before. Well, it seems that way anyway. Maybe they share these figures between themselves. <laughs> if only I was a hard worker, the things I could do for you. I wanted to succeed and make money, but strangely I didn't want to become famous. Well, congratulations on that! I just wanted to become a songwriter, so I came to Seoul. What does coming to Seoul uh, make a difference? Is that like going to LA or going to London? Really shocked at Sugar. One song in a month, that's a lot of work for me. I asked him, how many songs do you compose? And he says, I think one song a day at least. Extraordinary behavior! How does he have time to go on tour, I wonder? How does he have time to sit on the potty? How, many, how does he have time to brush his hair? Or brush his knees? 365 songs in a year. That's, that's a great uh, target. I wonder, more importantly, how many of those does he release? And if he's recording these on his own, it seems. Is he writing these songs for the whole band? Or is he writing them just for himself and then doing nothing with them? We, ha we saw that the last guy had his own solo song. So does he have solo songs? I imagine probably so. But is he the writer for the... In I've forgotten how many writers there were. There was more than one, I believe. I'm guessing he is one of the writers for BTS, so... How many does he give to them? How many does he keep? He won an award for producing Tina Turan's hit song, Why? Never heard of it. He won of the 25 people promoted to being a full member of the Korean Music Copyright Association. I'm guessing that's a big deal. They look like bodyguards with <laughs> wearing black. He was poor as a teen, worked part-time jobs, and made many sacrifices to pursue music. A risky career move that led to fights with his parents. Wow. The classic tale of grumpy parents. Just show them one of these guys, they'd be uh, scared out of their wits. Then they leave you alone. Wow. Even if you sold your song, you didn't get paid. You go cheese! How, how did he actually become a singer then from becoming so poor? The other ones were in uh, the underground and somehow they made it up, I guess. I, I'm still a bit confused how they made it up to, to form this band. How did the first one recruit all of the others? My parents came up the first time I went to the psychiatrist, got counselling. They hardly know you. Who can know me? I don't even know myself. 
friend, no, you, whoever it is, they don't know me. Oh, this is the song. I didn't realize this. I thought this was just background music. But this, I think, is the lyrics to what we're listening to. He opens up about his experience with social anxiety and depression. What's it like a habit? I don't... These are all the words I used to hide my weak self. Uh, that time I want to erase, that's right. The memories I want to erase of that concern. I thought the self would make something, hang on, make it better, make it worthwhile, has it been worthwhile? Because of his own struggles, he often writes lyrics to help listeners get through most difficult times. Ooh, that's you. Don't engrave anything on your chest. Achieve all of your dreams. It's possible not to have fun. Just be happy. Start the new year. Happily. Happy Thanksgiving. Wait, you're a bit late. I mean early, I mean out of time. J-Hope. Oh wait, we've gone past 10 minutes. So that was very interesting to me. I wonder who created this video. It wasn't on their main channel, I don't believe. Sh oh, it's on Sugar's channel. Or is this a fan channel? I think it's a fan channel, but I don't know how they made this. <laughs> Share this video with everyone curious about BTS from the bottom of the K-pop industry to the most popular boy band in the world. The rise of Bangtan has been an amazing journey. What is Bangtan? Maybe that should have been the first thing to explain. Maybe they did, and maybe it went over my memories. Mm. I have more respect for RM now. Bless this man and all BTS members. This is by far my favorite video showing BTS individually and as a group. Nothing cringy or embarrassing, just straightforward and mature. It's a video I can actually share with my friends who don't know K-pop like me! So I'm guessing there are videos that are cringy and embarrassing it would imply from that comment. I wouldn't know. Do tell me your thoughts. Um, if you are a fan of BTS, tell me! Answer my, 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 my questions. Answer my crimes. Help me fill in the gaps in my knowledge. And do remember, keep uh, requesting after you've subscribed, of course. I will be doing part two and part three after this, of course. So uh, I hope you stay with me. Farewell, my munchins. Take care, my munchins. <laughs>